Hi Bumblebees, welcome to our class dojo. Ms. Schuttinger and I are so excited that we get to continue learning together on the computers in this time away from school. So today I'm going to read you a story because tomorrow we start a brand new season. So the season we just had was winter. Does anybody know what season comes next? Spring. So this story is called When Spring Comes by Kevin Hankies. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it, you will smell it, you will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you're not. Now you have to wait for summer. The end. So I have a question for you. My first question is, what are you most excited about in the spring? So think about that and maybe you can write back so we can share some ideas with our friends. And also, they talked about some senses, so we know our five senses. Let's think about what our five senses are. See if you can remember all five. So what are some things that you can see in the spring? What can you hear in the spring? What can you smell in the spring? What can you feel outside in the spring? And what can you taste in the spring? Okay, take some time to think about that with your families and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.